All right, let's start with the uh, fan questions. Uh, from Isabella, uh, movies allow you to tour around the world. Have you ever visited a place you never thought you would ever visit and then you ended up loving? Mm. Gosh, I mean, I feel like that almost every time. A um, couple of things come up immediately. One is Vietnam in this film. Um, I actually always wanted to go to Vietnam. I had a visa in my passport when I was a student, when I was 19, but I actually it coincided with my very first ever professional acting job and I chose to take the acting job and then you know, 15 years later I ended up back in Vietnam so that was really nice as an actor um, uh, and the, the second one I thought about was um, Detroit in, in the United States um, a really remarkable city and I, I shot the Jim Jarmusch film there um, just didn't really know about Detroit until that point it's had an extraordinary history as a city um, so yeah, I love that place. Yeah, provide a good uh, cinematography for this film. Yeah. It was really nice. Um, uh, Sylvia wanted to know if you could imagine to go back to theater after having done all those big blockbuster pictures and what piece would you be interested to play? Uh, I think as long as I'm an actor, I will always love the theater. And uh, it's where I came from. It feels still feels like my bread and butter, um, like meat and drink to me in a way. Um, there's so many things I want to do in, on stage. I'm just waiting for the right time. Absolutely. You'll find I'm out. Sure. I'm yeah. sure you will. Um, question about Kong. It was very interesting because I asked Sam Jackson and Brie Larson, and they had two different points of view about what makes Kong so enduring as a, as a character. Mm. For Sam Jackson, he thinks that it's because, you know, it, you know women love those big furry uh, gorillas. <laughs> and, and Brie Larson thinks it's the opposite. It's because men like to feel like they're, you know, very macho, et cetera. Ah. What's your viewpoint? I think Kong is a an icon. He's a myth mm. that uh, that symbolizes the power of nature. I think we need that. We need, we constantly. The reason he's endured is we need this myth um, to be retold in a way, so that we're reminded that nature, the natural world, is beautiful and terrifying, um, and dangerous but also noble and majestic and that there's some natural intelligence at work on our planet that is taking care of itself and that we shouldn't interfere that thing of human beings always interfering mm. with Kong and we really just need to leave him alone yeah no, absolutely and I'm looking at this picture and it feels like such a soulful place what happens to actors when you know they're kind of thrown into kind of an isolated environment in the microcosm of the film does it feel like the right way to do it you just forget yourself and then immerse in the film it certainly bonded us all mm. um, being in these remote places you know the first thing we do is everyone clubs together and goes okay so what we, what are we gonna do at the mm. weekend um, what food are we gonna eat <laughs> that classic thing of everybody worrying about the food, you know. Um, but um, certainly the fact that this was shot in real places, um, which were quite remote, I think has added to the film. You can feel, you can sort of sense it on, on film. You can feel it mm -hmm. tangibly that this was shot in massive, um, beautiful landscapes, not on a soundstage with green screen. Um, and it makes it easier for us to imagine that we're on a desert island. Of course. Uh, judging by the, you know, the, the last projects I've interviewed you uh, for, you know, Night Manager being one of them, mm. uh, how amazing is it for you that you keep getting those interesting, very versatile projects? And, and what is the choosing element for you? Uh, it's, it's everything I've ever wanted. Mm. I always wanted to be able to move between different kinds of projects. Um, and each project recommends and offers a different opportunity and a different experience. One is singing, one is horror, one is Right, you know, yeah, yeah. Well, one around. is running around in a swamp and one is learning how to play the guitar in Nashville and another one is going to Morocco and being mistaken for a hotel manager. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's never boring, uh, not at all. It's always, you feel like you're learning all the time. Um, and really, when I read things, I listen very carefully to my instinct, to whether it feels like the experience is going to be an exciting and challenging one in a new way, and that I'm going to grow in some way as a result of the experience. Um, you never, you know, Matt Damon once said, we don't get to see the movies before we make them. Um, you just, you leap, you take the leap um, of faith, 
and do your best and, and hope it all turns out okay.